Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to compile and run C code from the terminal in Linux using CMake and GCC. Uh, in this tutorial I will be using Xubuntu as my operating system uh, running on a virtual machine. Uh, this tutorial will be applicable to any Debian distribution. First, I would just like to say that I'm not a professional, uh, I'm just an enthusiast and uh, most of the time I don't know what I'm doing, but this is how I do it. So without further ado, let's get started by opening up a terminal. And before we do anything else, we need to update our system. So let's do that by typing sudo apt update and entering our password. This is going to check for any new updates for your installed packages be done in just a second come on come on and there we go uh, it found 38 packages to be upgraded so let's upgrade them by typing sudo apt upgrade and we'll hit enter to confirm uh, this is going to take a little while, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, it's now done, uh, so now we can get started. Uh, first, we want to install the CMake and GCC packages, so let's do that by typing uh, sudo apt uh, install gcc and cmake, and we'll confirm by pressing enter. Uh, now it's going to install these packages, so and that's going to take a little while as well, so I'll be back when that's done. And there we go, it's now done. Now we want to create a directory where we keep all our projects. So let's create a new directory by typing mkdir and the name of the directory. I'll call mine uh, my c projects, like such. And I'll change directory to that directory. And then I'll create a directory inside that one. That will be my project. So like project one or whatever. Uh, I'll change directory to that. And in here we want to create uh, two, two additional directories that will store our header files and source files. So let's do make there, and I'll call mine a source uh, files and header files. You can name this uh, whatever you want, but if you're following this tutorial, I strongly recommend using these names. Uh, now we want to create a file called cmakelists.txt. Uh, this will store information about how to compile uh, this specific uh, project. So let's create that file by doing uh, uh, let's do touch uh, c make lists dot txt, and this file has to be named exactly this with cm and l being capital letters, otherwise cmake won't recognize this file as a cmake lists file. So just make sure it's exactly like that. Uh, and now we want to edit the file. Uh, I'm going to use nano to edit my files, but you can use whatever applica application or program you want. Uh, I'm using nano because it comes pre-installed with Xubuntu. Uh, now I'm going to paste in some code here, and I'll briefly explain what it does, but I'm not gonna uh, go into detail, like, at all. So, let's do that. Uh, I will link uh, this code in the description below, so you can find it. Uh, but basically what this does, it, like, it checks some versions, it tells the compiler, uh, uh, what type it is and uh, so on and so on. Uh, the things you need to care about in here are uh, these flags. Uh, 
if for some reason uh, the compiler can find uh, some uh, what's it called um, some includes or libraries uh, it's probably because you're missing a flag here so I'm currently using the pthread but you could also want like the uh, lm flag and uh, this will include the math uh, libraries and so on and the pthread will include the thread library and so on so you're gonna have to look up if uh, if the compiler can find specific uh, standard libraries uh, the other thing you need to care about is uh, this uh, i named mine source files and header files uh, so if you name them something else, uh, you would have to change that. Otherwise, it should all be the same. So let's save this. And let's clear the screen so we can see what we're doing. Uh, so now we got the CMake lists uh, file done. And now I want to show you how to uh, compile this, but uh, to compile to be able to compile, we actually need a uh, some something to compile. So I'm just gonna create a short program uh, that writes out "Hello World" uh, to the user. Uh, so uh, let's do that. And I know uh, source files uh, main C or whatever. Uh, I'll include uh, stdio dot uh, Actually, you should type include. There we go, and int name, Just put void there, because there's no arguments, uh, curly brackets, uh, print f, we want a string, and print uh, hello world, and let's get a new line there uh, just like that that'll do uh, now I'll show you how to manually compile this with CMake uh, later on we'll create a script so uh, if you don't care about doing it manually just just watch uh, and we'll do this script later uh, so I'll make a new directory for CMake to compile in and I call it build so i'll go into that directory and in here i'll do c make and the files and the c make list is in the parent directory so i'll put dot dot there and uh, it does its thing and now i can do make and it's built the target executable so in here now there will be this executable and that will be your uh, your your executable your program so i can run that by doing dot slash executable and it prints out hello world so now let's uh, create a script that uh, does all this uh, so we don't have to do it manually every time we want to uh, compile and run it or debug or whatever so let's uh, go up and we'll make a new file or a new script uh, with uh, let's just do touch uh, i'm gonna call it build.sh for shell script and let's edit that and at the top here we have to do this let's type this to tell it to run it with a bash uh, and you do this for all scripts i guess you could have something else uh, running the script but uh, we're using bash uh, so we wanted it to make the directory build right and then we wanted to go into build the build directory and then we want it to see make run the cmake and then make in that directory and we want to go out of that directory and then run the executable uh, 
and here I'm going to do this so that you could send arguments to this executable when compiling it. So when I'm compiling it, it's going to compile it and then it's going to execute it. And if I send some arguments to the build script, it will then send those arguments to the executable. Maybe you don't need this, I, I like it. Uh, and uh, now, as you can see, it's uh, not an executable at the moment, so we have to make it one. Uh, so we do we do uh, sudo uh, ch mod uh, plus x to add executability on the build shell script. And now I should be able to do dot slash uh, build dot sh, and then it's uh, doing the uh, yeah running CMake and uh, building the executable. All right, great. So if that's all you care about to create the project like this, uh, you're done. But uh, I want to easily be able to create uh, more projects without having to copy the CMake lists and uh, the, the build script manually uh, and stuff. So uh, let's uh, automate that a little bit. Uh, so which means that first we need a place for those two files uh, to be so we can copy them from there. Uh, so I'm going to place uh, my CMake lists and the build script in config under a new folder that I would create. So I'll do cd.config and then I'll make a new directory in here called uh, I don't know, C CMake uh, template. Sure. And I'll go into directory and I will, will uh, copy the uh, CMake lists and the build uh, script to here. So now I'll do uh, cp for a copy. Uh, I'll specify the path to the file uh, by doing cp uh, home, uh, what do I call it, uh, my C projects, uh, project one and CMake lists and copy it to here. And I also want to copy the uh, the build script. Great. So now I have the build script and the CMake lists uh, file in here to copy from. So now we're going to create the script that copies these two files to a directory and that create automatically creates the source files directory and header files directory. And let's do that by changing directory to bin, because we want to place our executable in a bin so that we don't have to export uh, any other directory to path. Uh, so it will just work. Uh, since we're in bin, we need to use pseudo privileges. So uh, pseudo uh, touch to create the file. Uh, let's call it uh, init uh, cmake. Uh, enter. And let's edit it with nano. So what do we want to do? We want to uh, copy uh, from uh, home fib, uh, and you would specify your uh, username here and then uh, dot config uh, and then uh, cmake uh, template and then cmake make list txt to this directory uh, and then also copy the the build script That's a, 
let's hope I spelled everything correct there. Uh, we also wanted to create the source files directories and the header files directories. So let's do that. We'll make their source files and header files. Oh, let's not forget to to add uh, this. So that's actually a script. Uh, I'll, I also like to move any source and header files that are already in the folder to to the source and header files folders. So let's do that by doing move any .c file to source files and let's move any any .h files to header files there we go so we will copy the files and we'll create the directories and then move any source and header files to source and header files folders all right let's save and exit and Let's uh, go back to our projects folder and let's create a, a new new folder in here. Uh, let's call it uh, like test or whatever. Uh, it's now empty, but if I run init c make. I cannot run it because I forgot to make an executable. So let's go back and do that. Uh, whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> so let's let's uh, change this to to an executable, or let's make it executable. Ch mod plus x um, in its simic. There we go. Now let's go back to our project folder, my C projects, uh, test. Uh, again, I'll show you that it's empty. And then when we run this, init CMake, uh, it says that there are no uh, such files or directories because there are none. So that's good, but here they are. And uh, now we can attempt to build even though there is nothing here. Press enter and it did what we expected it to do. It didn't generate an executable because there are no files, but it created the build directory. And if you were to have uh, project files in here, it would work. So uh, that's it. I uh, hope this was uh, useful to someone. And uh, yeah, good luck. And I'll see you next time.